Here's me, here's God, above and beyond, yet also right here in our midst. And here's other people, lots of other people. When I say I don't get much out of church, chances are I'm only concerned about this guy right here. What do I get from God, and what do I get from all these other people? Me. It's all about me. See the arrows? Newsflash, it's not all about me. The first one I should be concerned about is God. What am I giving to God? How am I serving God? Second, if I'm a Christian, God gave me a gift, a spiritual gift, sometimes more than one of them, a gift that's meant to serve other people, not just me. Part of the reason I don't get anything out of church is because I'm not serving other people. Think about Jesus. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. And what did Paul say? Don't think only about your own interests, but also the interests of others. You see, it's not all about me. When Jesus summarized the whole Old Testament, he said, Love God and love others. When God's people kept failing and were about to go into exile, you know what they did wrong? They didn't love God. They didn't love others, so they went into exile. If it's not all about me, maybe I shouldn't think about these arrows, but these arrows. And when I do, guess what? All of a sudden, like scales falling from my eyes, I get it. And as I start serving God and serving others, I find that I actually start getting things out of church. Not because I'm focused on me, but because I'm focused on others. Look at all these people. If everyone was only concerned about himself, how many people were concerned about this guy? One. And what about this guy? Still one. But what if everyone was concerned about everyone else? How many people would be concerned about this guy? A lot. Hmm, maybe that's why I'm not getting anything out of church.